Hello again! There were some queries about how to leave a pre-recorded voice message on an answering machine and this tutorial will focus on it. So instead of a user or agent saying the same script or dialogue whenever they encounter an answering machine, how about just leave a pre-recorded voice message so that they can proceed to, ne to the next call? Well first, prepare a recorded message. You may either use a Vocaro website or a the sound recorder application on your phone or the sound recorder on your Windows. So once you have that recording, we the next thing that we need to do is go to np3.nextiva.com and then log in your user account. Go to Voice and Analytics. Okay, from the home page, go to Locations, Manage Locations. Click on Edit. Well, right now, for this example, we'll have Location 1. Click, click on Edit, and then we go to announcements this is where we're gonna upload the file or the audio recording that you have saved earlier and make sure that your file is converted to WAV because the Nextiva system only recognizes WAV files and it has the specifications that it wants so that it, the upload will be successful well, I generally go to this website, audio.online-convert.com and then I would like to convert files to WAVE here. Convert to WAVE. Let me just choose my file. It's on my desktop. Okay, here you go. Pre-recorded voice message. For the bit resolution, you should set it to 16 bit. Sampling rate should be 8000 Hz. Audio channel would be mono. This is the accepted settings for your audio. Start conversion. Download once it is complete. Save the file. Hit OK. Oops. I hit the download button twice there you go I have the pre-recorded voice message in WAV format now let's go back to announcements under np3.nextiba.com let's hit upload file button see here it's asking you to compress the file into 16 bit or 8 bit uh, earlier we chose 16 8000 Hertz and then mono also the file size should be less than 2 m two megabytes. So let's rename the file test pre-recorded voice message and then let's look for what we've downloaded earlier. Here it is. Then hit upload. Okay, it says here the announcement was successfully added. If it says otherwise you should repeat the process. Hit close. Once you have the file uploaded, we ne the next thing that we need to do is go to Advanced Routing and then hit on Call Groups. This is where we're going to create uh, an extension number and then embed the audio recording that we have uploaded. Okay, let's open Call Groups and then hit on call Create Call Group. Let's put a name. Let's say call group. I say CG and then pre recorded voice message one. That's a good name. You just um, enter on the fields call group name. Location should be the location name that you where you uploaded the file, which is the announcements under location one. 
call ID first name. Um, let's enter the same entry that we entered on group name. The same goes for caller ID last name. For the phone number, it's uh, it's optional. You don't need to put any. Uh, for the extension, that's the mandatory field. Let's just say it's um, 101. Any extension number that comes to mind, it's okay. Any Anything that ranges from 0 to 9. And then le let's leave the other fields by default. And then hit save and continue. There you go. The new call group has been created. And then make sure that you remember the extension number. It's 101. Right now we just created an extension number wherein we're gonna have to dial this whenever we encounter an answering machine. Okay, moving on. Let's go to greetings. Scroll, just scroll down and then greetings. And then look for busy greeting. From here, we enter the test pre-recorded voice message. This is the file name that we uploaded earlier. And then hit save. There you go. So if you're gonna check this out, just op open your Nextiba phone application and then dial the extension number which is 101. And then the pre-recorded voice message that you recorded earlier will just uh, play in the background. So uh, from here you should have a basic understanding of what's going on. Uh, so uh, if our user or agent encounters an answering machine, all they have to do is transfer the call to the extension number 101 and then the pre-recorded voice message will play. Now I have here my Nextiva phone application, uh, but unfortunately my calls are unavailable right now. Anyway, what you generally have to do to check if the pre-recorded voice message is already embedded on your extension number that we assigned earlier is to type in 101 onto your dial pad and then hit call. Well, I have here a screenshot. This is what you generally do before dialing that uh, after dialing that number. You should hear your pre-recorded voice message to easily transfer the call to the answering machine. Uh, you just have to add the extension number as a contact first. So what you have to do is go to this uh, person icon and then hit on the plus button, hit on new contact, type in a correct display, uh, a preferred display name. I'm going to enter my PVM and then for the personal phone number, it's going to be the extension number that we created 101 and then hit save. Once that's done, we try to test a call to this phone number. Once the call is connected, we hit on the ellipsis, which is the three dots on this uh, pane, and then we hit on transfer under this hit uh, three dots again. Search for the contact name, my PVM, and then hit on transfer now. Once you hit on transfer now button, the call will end immediately, meaning the pre-recorded voice message is already left on the phone number that you called, which has an answering machine. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope this was informative to you. See you again next time. Bye.